So what exactly are dust mites? Dust mites are nothing but these microscopic creatures which infest our beds, pillows, bed sheets, curtains and sofas. All over the world, dust mites are considered to be the most common cause of allergy. They tend to thrive in hot and humid climates and wherever human skin comes in contact. For example, as I said, beds as well as mattresses. We have three principal dust mites which we in short refer to as DP, DF as well as Blumia. These three are the principal causes of allergy across the world. So these dust mites are predominantly found where human skin comes in contact because they tend to feed on human skin. So they include sofas, they include your bed mattresses, your bed sheets, your pillow covers, your curtains and especially carpets as well as soft toys. Now in olden days in India, as you know the mattresses used to be made of cotton and they used to be stitched. Now these used to thrive a lot in dust mite. So these are the principal sources of dust mites, especially in children with allergies. So dust mite allergy is very common. As I said, nearly 30% of people are found to be dust mite sensitized. Is there any place in the world which is dust mite free? It's almost impossible to find. Even the cleanest country like Singapore is supposed to be highly dust mite allergic. So they tend to thrive in these hot and humid climates and it's very difficult for us to eliminate them completely from our environment. So one of the most common things people say is that they're allergic to dust. Now what exactly is this dust that you're allergic to? Remember that this dust is the indoor dust. Whereas outdoor dust does not cause as much allergy as the indoor one. So that is mainly because this indoor dust contains these dust mites. And these dust mites in those old books, old shelves which you are dusting is what triggers your allergic reaction. So as I mentioned, when we do the allergy skin prick test, we tend to find out whether a person is dust mite allergic and not dust allergic. So when a person comes positive or sensitized to dust mites, reducing exposure to these dust mites does reduce symptoms of asthma as well as allergies. So how exactly can we overcome these dust mites? First most importantly is do not use old mattresses. Especially mattresses which are more than 5 or 6 years old tend to accumulate millions of dust mites in them. If you have a mattress which is old or relatively old, it's important for us to put them out in sunlight. That is how they used to do in India before. So putting them out in sunlight or exposing them to heat definitely reduces the concentration of the dust mite. What about the bed sheets as well as pillow covers? These need to be soaked in hot water and heat tends to destroy the dust mite. Important is to dispose carpets. If anybody in your house has any symptoms of asthma and allergy, it's not good for us to have carpets in the house. With children, soft toys need to obviously be disposed. Another important source of dust mites are heavy curtains. So in houses where we have large as well as heavy curtains, the dust mite tends to accumulate frequently. So we need to wash this more frequently. It's also important for us to start using more synthetic fabrics probably and avoiding less of cotton. In houses which are air conditioned, this air conditioners need to be cleaned very very frequently. And lastly, there are few companies which are beginning to produce what we call as dust mite covers or dust mite protectors or encasing. So many of your mattresses can be encased in these dust mite covers which prevents us from coming in contact with the dust mite. Therefore, avoiding contact with the dust mite does definitely reduce symptoms of allergy in a large number of children.